Peter, I want to become a backend developer. Where should I start? Should I learn Java backend, Node, JS backend, Python backend? Which one actually matters? Good question, Stewie. If you choose Java backend, you'll work with Spring Boot enterprise grade, super scalable, and used by banks, fintech, and huge companies. If you choose Node.js backend, you'll work with Express or Nest.js fast, modern, perfect for startups, APIs, and real time apps. If you choose Python backend, you'll use Django or Fast API, amazing for data heavy apps, AI integrations, and rapid development. So, they've all got strengths. Wonderful. But what comes after picking one? That's when you start the real backend roadmap. First, learn fundamentals HTTP, routing, middleware, authentication, rate limiting, caching, sessions, and API patterns. Then, learn databases properly. SQL, NoSQL, transactions, indexing, schema design, query optimization. Already more useful than every CRUD app tutorial I've ever seen. Oh, we're just getting warmed up. Real backend engineering means learning system architecture, load balancing, distributed caching, job queues, messaging systems, API gateways, JWT, OAuth, microservices, and designing systems that don't explode when traffic spikes. Finally, something real, not make a to-do list in 20 minutes. Exactly. And once you hit the advanced stage, you'll dive into distributed systems, event-driven architecture, message brokers like Kafka and RabbitMQ, item potency, CQRS, event sourcing, data replication, and observability with logs, metrics, tracing. Peter, this is the stuff companies actually expect back-end developers to know. Yes. And instead of wasting months on random YouTube chaos, you can learn all this from this back-end development course created by engineers from Meta, Google, Harvard, MIT, Microsoft, and Stanford. If you want the link to that course, hit like and comment backend, and I'll send it to you.